This procedure video will take you through the techniques of inserting an intraosseous needle. This is an essential skill to have in any paediatric resuscitation situation, and as such, the M. Kemoski exam has posed this as a practical station on many occasions. It has also appeared in the guise of teaching a medical student how and when to use an intraosseous needle. It is recommended if three failed attempts at venous access have been made, or if 90 seconds have passed. The APLS guidelines recommend that it is the technique of choice for circulatory access in any cardiac arrest. Take some time now to look at the equipment above and to familiarise yourself with the Cook needle. The following video will demonstrate the insertion into the tibial surface, however the femoral surface and proximal humeral surface can also be used in children. So what we're going to demonstrate is an intraosseous needle insertion. The preferred Insertion site will be proximal tibia. Um, that's two finger breads or two centimeters below the tibial tuberosity on the anterior middle surface. So we've got to fix the, immobilize the leg. Uh, 